And you know, one of the stocks that tells you this story is uh, Titagar Wagons. They've, uh, or rather, Titagar Rail Systems now. They've won an order worth nearly 1,900 crores a couple of days ago. They also announced uh, the launch of another second 25 tug uh, bullet pull tug for uh, the Indian Navy. And usually, these news pieces would take all of these rail stocks higher. But look what's happened to Titagar. It's uh, currently at the lower end of today's trading session itself, down about 3%. So maybe the street is in the mood of profit booking itself. But uh, be that as it may, for this 1,900 crore order that has come by, what are the prospects? Uh, is there any upside? And the execution timelines, we have Umesh Chaudhary, who is the vice chairman and MD of Titagar Rail Systems, joining in. Good morning, Umesh. Thank you so much for joining in. Every time we speak to you, it's on the back of a big order that you've gotten. This time around, it's around 1,900 crores coming in from Indian Railways. Uh, could you tell us, you know, what the execution period for this is, margins, and uh, what does this take your order book to? Yeah, hi. Uh, good morning. Always a pleasure being with you. So uh, this is a this is an important order for us because this is uh, for a new design uh, of uh, wagon uh, uh, which we got an order for. Uh, Oops, uh, Umesh. I think uh, we've lost your video there, so we'll just come back to you in a bit. Someone's pulled the chain yeah. on that train, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't guess. hear him or see him, so we'll get back to that in a bit. But um, by the way, guys, you know, you should look at the broader markets because that yes. is a big concern area. Look at it now. The mid-cap index is suddenly down 420 points, and that was the point we were making earlier in the morning as well. While the headline index is fine, it's steady, it's the broader market pain that is really hitting retail investors quite a bit. So right now, uh, 400 points gone on the mid-cap index, advanced decline ratio is at 1,500 stocks on the declining side. So that is um, the big headline at the moment. But back to the discussion. Back to the discussion. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, I believe we're, uh, we can, you can hear us clearly. Let's hope we can hear you clearly now as well. You were telling us a little about the order. Yeah, absolutely. So I was saying that this order is significant for us because uh, this will be executed in just under two years from now. And uh, this enables us to maintain the market leadership uh, position that we uh, have currently in the in the wagon space uh, so it's an important order for us okay it's an important order can you tell us a little bit about what the orders the total order book that you're sitting on currently is about 28000 crores right how much of that will be executed in the next one to two years and um, you know what is the kind of order visibility that we're looking at if you can help us with some details so we operate in two segments, the freight and the passenger. On the freight side, you know, the last order book that we had declared along with our December results is what I can actually speak about. Uh, so that was about 28,000 crores divided half and half both the segments. In terms of the order pipeline visibility so in, in, and execution, so we, uh, we announced uh, along with our December results that we were able to break the glass ceiling of making 1,000 wagons in a month in the month of December. And our uh, target now is to make sure that we are able to consistently maintain that. So we believe that by Q1 of FY25, we will be able to uh, uh, hit a run rate consistently of 1,000 wagons a month. Uh, and, uh, you know, that that is where uh, we intend to be for a while now, unless we see the new dedicated freight corridors and the next big demand of wagon uh, uh, going upwards. In terms of the passenger rail segment, um, we uh, there are many tenders in the pipeline. We have the Chennai two tenders. We have the Mumbai three tenders for the metros. Mm. Uh, of course, the new Vande Bharats that are like that have been in the media that will be announced, but probably after elections. So uh, we see for both the segments, the the visibility is quite large. And uh, mm. in terms of uh, the execution of the uh, of the passenger side, the Pune metro will be executed in the next couple of months. The order will be completed and we are starting with the Bangalore and going on with the uh, Vande Bharat and Surat etc. So both the segments so, I think uh, are going uh, pretty much as per target. Uh, just to get the number, the total order book is 28,000 crores, right? If you can just break it up for us on the freight side, what is the order book and what's the visibility like? So on the on the freight side, uh, the total order was approximately for the wagons about seven eight thousand crores, and I'm speaking from memory, so I can be a little bit uh, here or there. And then there was the wheel uh, our share of the wheel project, which was uh, the balance. And on the passenger side, including the maintenance, was about uh, half of that. So uh, it was it was if if I look at the wheel and the wagon uh, as one pocket and the 
passenger on the other it was equally split between the two okay hi uh, sir good morning nigel on this side just want to confirm hi, this hi. order that you've won in which segment does it fall freight the recent it's order on the freight side this is the wagon order the Got it. Right. Uh, wagon order. Also, if you could tell us, uh, you told us by when uh, you know you will execute it. That's the next uh, twenty-four months or so. But what are the margins you'll enjoy? So the similar margin. So on the freight side, we've had about twelve uh, percent EBITDA margin. Eleven, twelve percent is what we've been maintaining, and uh, we would this order also would be no different. So eleven to twelve percent is on the freight side. Now the next trigger of uh, you know revenue recognition will come in as you execute the. Passenger segment, like you said, you know there'll be the Bangalore Metro, Pune Metro, and all these Vande Bharat orders that you would be giving. What margins do they typically apply at? So, uh, you know, if you look at and, and as you said very rightly, Mangalam, that uh, the uh, up till December, almost eighty percent of our revenue or even more was coming from the freight segment. In FY twenty five, we will really start getting uh, the revenue from the passenger segment, which will uh, significantly. Ramp up in FI 26 when Monday Bharat execution starts. Uh, in terms of the margin that we have in the passenger segment, if we look at the bare coach when we are buying propulsion, we expect the 10% EBITDA, which will increase to 15% uh, when we are able to do our own propulsion, which we for which we have now the technology tie up or the TOT with the ABB. So. Uh, Ultimately, if we look at the passenger segment, the targeted uh, EBITDA margin that we have is around fifteen percent. Okay, EBITDA margin is around fifteen percent. Got it. Um, can you tell us, in terms of the private sector orders, uh, what is the what is the expectation currently? What is the execution looking like? What is the visibility? So we uh, we have a significant part of the private uh, wagon business uh, as we speak and. Uh, you know we don't normally give the split between the two between the private and the and the uh, indian railway wagon uh, for competitive uh, reasons but uh, I, i can say that for certainty that uh, we we have a significant market share if not market leaders in the private segment also and the visibility Check looks very good and this is clearly uh, driven by the economic activity so you know right now because of elections new capexes will be a little slower but as soon as the election is over we will see new capacities whether it's in steel building or cement or all of that come up and that will again uh, bring up the demand for uh, private sector wagons having said that we have substantive orders right now which will see us through for at least uh, for at least the next 8 uh, 10 months on the private sector wagon also okay all right final question sir before we let you go what is the execution outlook order book is looking superb you're bracing yourself to go to 1000 wagons per month in fy25 on the base of fy24 what kind of a revenue growth can you deliver point number 1 and give us the blended margin for the business that we should be working with so uh, in terms of the execution in fy24 uh, we were Uh, hovering at the run rate of around 700 wagons a month, and uh, going FY25, we are targeting a run rate of a thousand wagons a month. So that pretty much gives you a kind of a uh, sense of. You want to give it to us, we, sir, in revenue terms? In revenue terms, you uh, give I, it, give we, we don't. We don't, as a matter of policy, give forward-looking uh, projections. So right. I would uh, so refrain from doing that. Let's try it this way. Let's try it this way, uh, Umesh. Uh, you know, you have. a higher share of revenue coming in from passenger uh, you know wagons which will be better margins what are the realizations per wagon that you're targeting next year let's put it that way so realization for freight wagons continue to remain the same so it is not changing it doesn't change uh, apart from the normal price variation which is uh, reflective of the inflationary uh, trends so the revenue per wagon hovers between 35 to 40 lakh per wagon and that is where it will be uh, the volume will what will drive the overall top and bottom line on the passenger side we were at about 3 to 4 coaches on an average if you look at fy24 this we are targeting to take it to almost uh, 15 coaches 12 to 15 coaches in fy25 and then double it up from there in fy26 and then further increase in fy27 so the real big delta will start coming in from the passenger coach segment and while the freight segment will go from 700 to 1000 uh, in the next year so basis your numbers uh, you know roughly 4800 crores is what we are gathering because 1000 wagons per month at between 
35 to 40 lakh per wagon would mean about 400 crore revenue per month. Multiply that by 12, 4,800 crores. Would that be a fair estimate? You have better mathematics than I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks a lot for joining in, though. Appreciate your time here on CNBC TV 18. Let's